we are getting a closer look at a black hole thanks to artificial intelligence technology. The image on the left was captured back in 2019 and it gave the world its first sneak peek at the enormous black hole which is believed to be 53 million light years away from Earth. Today, researchers released this new image on the right using AI to fill in the missing pieces and provide a sharper image. Scientists hope to learn more about its properties as well as gravity. And for more on this very interesting story, we are joined by Leah Medeiros, astrophysicist at the Institute for Advanced Study in New Jersey and lead author of the study. Uh, Leah, thank you so much for your time. I want to start off with when you and your team initially rendered this image on the right-hand side of the screen, compared to what we, we saw back in 2019, what was your first impression? I mean, to be honest, I was just uh, really excited to to really see this algorithm work. We had been working on it for quite some time. We were really, really excited to, to see this image. And um, I was particularly excited about the fact that the ring is much skinnier, much thinner than what we had earlier. And this is a really important constraint for us to constrain not just our understanding of gravity, but also our understanding of what happens to matter as it swirls around the black hole and eventually falls into the black hole. Okay, so before we move forward in this interview, I think, can we kind of take a few steps back? And how would you explain this to, say, myself and people at home who may not know as much when it comes to the science behind the black hole and all of this? Because we're talking about this image being 53 million light years from Earth. And to put it in perspective, one light year is 5.8 trillion miles. So I sometimes I can't even wrap my mind around just how far that is. Yeah, it is incredibly far. It is in um, one of the closest galaxies to us, but still a galaxy that is very, very far away from us. Um, and not only is it very far, but it's also really, really big. Uh, the mass of this black hole is about 6.5 billion times the mass of our sun, right? So we're dealing with something that is incredibly massive, incredibly far away, but still really, really hard to image, even though it is so big, because since it is so far away, it looks very, very small in the sky from our point of view. And so um, to get this image, we essentially have to achieve the highest resolution uh, image that humanity has ever made, um, which in and of itself is a really remarkable uh, engineering achievement. Mm -hmm. But of course, also, we're, we're really excited uh, about the science that we learn after we make the image as well. Yeah, there's no doubt just to know that there are actual telescopes out there that can reach that far is just absolutely incredible. So this kind of leads to the bigger question, and that is, what more could this help us learn about the nature of black holes moving forward? Yeah. So um, I'll give you one specific example. So um, if you've ever read about black holes, you might have heard about a term called an event horizon. Um, if Einstein's theory of gravity is correct, we do expect that black holes in space will have this thing called an event horizon. Um, the way that you should think about an event horizon really is just the distance. And the idea is that if you get closer to a black hole than that particular distance, then you've gotten too close and you'll never be able to escape again. So it's effectively, we like to call it the point of no return. Mm -hmm. And so theoretically, we've predicted that um, black holes should have this event horizon. But of course, we really want to test whether or not that's actually the case for real black holes in space. And so in particular, the fact that the dark spot in the center of the image looks a lot darker now, that really tells us that um, it is very likely that this object does in fact have a black hole and it helps us rule out an object that has a surface that might reflect some of the light that falls onto it. For example, we know that the moon and most planets actually do reflect a lot of the light that falls onto their surface. And so the fact that we see such a dark spot in the center is showing us that we can't have a surface there that would be reflecting light back towards us, indicating again, we do see um, a black hole here. Okay, wow, that is that is incredible as far as just breaking this down. Uh, my last question for you is, moving forward in the future, because AI played a large role in being able to um, uh, essentially show us this latest photo of this black hole, moving forward in the future, will AI, do you think it could be used a bit of in a tandem in combination with these telescopes moving forward? Yeah, that is definitely my, uh, my goal and my hope. Um, the 
real power of this new algorithm is that we, of course, cannot cover the entire Earth in telescopes. So we only have telescopes in a few locations on Earth, and they all work as a team to create this larger Earth-sized telescope. But um, of course, since we can't cover the Earth in telescope, there are effectively gaps in our data where we just don't have a telescope that can observe that particular location. And um, what the machine learning algorithm does is it fills in those gaps. And so absolutely, I'm very excited to use this um, for many years to come, even as we increase the number of telescopes that are working as a team to make this image. Um, I still think that this will be an incredibly powerful um, algorithm, an incredibly powerful tool for us to make um, ever better images in the years to come. Okay, we'll have to leave it there, but really interesting stuff. Leah Medeiros, astrophysicist, thank you for joining us tonight. We appreciate it. Thank you so much for having me, Kayla. I've really appreciated it. Take care.